Hi, I'm Cheryl Bannon from Melbourne, Australia and I just thought I would share a little bit about where I'm going for 2021 and I've decided my word for the year is focus and I'm finding that I'm really curious and interested in the idea of circles and the playful way that they connect to our world. All my art is about those laid connections and links to the stories and that make up our lives. I really do believe in that idea that we, we live storied lives and that everything is layered understanding. I find that I really do have a love of circles. They fascinate me and I really like playing with the possibilities and openings they create. So right now I'm just seeing where it all goes and allowing whatever happens through the layers to actually open me up to new ideas. Now, I really don't see an artwork as ever truly being complete. It's all about the way the stories, the different stories begin to shape and fit together and that everything is interconnected. And even doing this video is about me sitting and thinking and feeling my way into what I want for my art in 2021, I feel like there are so many new opening spaces and that somehow the story and the changes that have happened are able to evolve in new ways as we enter into this new year. and just allow whatever feels right to flow in. It's been challenging without um, the connections of normal life this year for all of us. But the question that the wondering inside of me is how do I create new openings? I'm thinking of the book that I've been reading by Marianne Williamson where she talks about how we hope for new things to happen. She suggests that rather than hoping we change the word hope to wonder. So rather than hoping for 2021, I start to wonder and wondering, like all these beautiful circles, are opening spaces. No. I don't know what's going to happen with this story I'm creating on the page in front of me. And I doubt I'll finish it as I sit here. In fact, I'll probably end up doing part of this as a fast forward.
circles are about all those questions that we keep asking ourselves if you were to create a word for the year what would your word be and in the middle of all this busyness of wanting to achieve, somehow the colours are an invitation to something new. When I'm sitting here adding these random pieces of washi tape, they're actually adding a new part of my story. I don't want it to be just one thing. I want to find how all those pieces fit together and somehow a circle is a perfect way of fitting a story together. These circles will become background to something totally different and I'm not sure what the difference is yet. I guess that this space of looking at what's possible for next year, I would consider this to be a space of shaping next steps. At the moment I'm limiting my colours. And slowly adding new pieces. I did start with watercolour. But now I'm allowing some acrylic to come in, so I get the variety. And I start to lose the words that I played with earlier, because the word is still there under the layers. Often there will be words underneath that are hidden, that are part of a bigger story. Think of, na of circles as a reminder of the natural world and growth and things like seed pods. There's something quite beautiful in the idea. Of circles being evolving and growing things. And as I build up my marks, I'm really looking at how I can create something different, something new, because I love learning and I love the idea that these spaces I'm creating haven't existed before. I'm telling a new story. And I guess I know my wish is for a new story for 2020. Art is a way 
translating a stream into something new. I'd suggest that it's a lovely way to start playing with your thoughts of what what is possible to just create this beautiful the beauty of a random background that I'm thinking wabi sabi the beauty of imperfection which is a Japanese way of of seeing the world which really does attract me Part of me just wants to part of me just wants to repeat the circle shape to let it grow. And I know that whatever I do, there isn't just one single focus. There's my art. It's actual original paintings. There's workshops, there's print on demand. I'm my question is really becoming what feels like it will be the most joyful way of connecting to that idea of focus. So I'm looking at three ideas that I can play with. But there are also the stories that are so rich and come to life in images. No. I know I'm talking about circles, but the reality is, for me, I really want to stay within the space. I want to find, oh look, I'm going over the flow as I say this, the space that creates the flow, the ability to extend out beyond what I know. It's about finding me in all the things, all the shapes, all the colours, all the openings and saying, okay, what is the story in these circles and what is the difference in the spaces I'm creating why do I need all these layers what what makes the layers so important and what makes the interco interconnection so important because I do love the play of connecting to community, to different ways of seeing our world, to, I don't know, to the that's better, playful, possibilities I 
do enjoy the possibilities to go beyond something solid and fixed. I actually love the journey. I wonder what it is in an image, in an artwork that you love, what artworks are in your world and what the stories are that connect you to those pieces.